Hi, I'm Danielle and welcome to Books and Beyond. Today I have a fairy loot unboxing. Uh, I have both the adult and the YA box. The YA box is the one that has all the goodies in it. Um, the adult box is book only. I believe this is our February box. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, all right. So I have a few items here right off the bat. Oh, oh, I heard about this. They're doing another tote bag. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Hold on. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. This is a tote bag, a little canvas tote bag. I do have one um, that they did and I get compliments on it. Um, what I love about this though, look, they have like current books on it. So we have like um, Caraval, we have Stalking Jack the Ripper, uh, this is How You Lose a Time War, Song of Wrath and Ruin, uh, let's see what else we have, Bridge Kingdom, Shatter Me, oof, oh they put a lot of uh, fairy loot books on here, <laughs> Curse of Saints, Daughter of the Pirate King, Fourth Wing, Winter's Curse, Spice Road, I have that one, that's a fairy loot, that was a fairy loot, Hurricane Wars, Night Circus, Wow, oh, that's very nice. I love the color of this. This is pretty. It's the same on both sides. So I love this. That's good. So yay. First thing is actually really cool. This is why I do like their, they do have better stuff in their boxes, I would say. And the next thing we have here, the Jassad Air mug. Okay, I have not read that book. I, I don't know if it's one I want to read, but... Let's just look at this and see if it's more skin neutral looking. So, it says, okay, hold on, I'm going to get out of here. This is a glass mug. Ooh, it's very nice, very wavy. It says she had the temperament of a deranged goose. It's got the author on it and everything, so... There you go. Ooh, nice and solid. It's got a little fairy loot motif on the bottom. So I haven't read that book. Don't know much about it, but I will say that, um, yeah, a goose is a good comparison for a lot of people because yeah, goose are kind of crazy. So that really tells me a lot about that character. All right. So there's that. Um, again, I haven't read that book. I don't know if it's one I want to read, but still, I like that. That's it. That's a good quote. Okay, and then we have a hat. Last gift. Oh, so this is Fourth Wing. Okay, Fourth Wing hat. I think that's from Fourth Wing. Yeah, because it's got dragons on it. Not a big fan of hats. I don't know why they keep putting hats in there, but I don't wear enough of them to really, like... Ooh, the Crimson Moth Friendship Keychains. Okay. It's like where you give one to somebody and then they have the other one. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it is. It's like, oh gosh, remember those necklaces? Best friend. And you give one heart to your best friend and they'd have the other one. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. That's pretty with the book and the moth. That's really pretty. Oh, no. Okay, I might have someone who would actually be interested in the other half of this, so there we go. Um, okay, so let's get the book out. Oh, peanuts. And then we have that. Then we have our tarot cards. Ooh, very pretty. Page of Moons, Night of Moons. There we go. We'll find out who those characters are. There might be characters in the book. Oh, and we have a third one. I didn't see that. Four of Moons. I feel like I've seen this character before in something. It's the hair that's that's telling me that I've seen this person as a character. Okay, we'll check it out on the spoiler card. The spoiler card at the end, which we have right here. This is our spoiler card. We won't look at it yet. I mean, we've already looked at the, the stuff, but it's always nice to look at this to see if I'm missing anything. Okay, and now let's go ahead and open the book. And we have already on top, we have some solid sprayed edges that are black. 
a little bit of a damage or um, inconsistent kind of, what would you call that? Not damage, but it's, it's kind of like a mistake was made. All right, here we go. We have our bookmark. I'm off to the flame. So our book is, ooh, a string there. The Crimson Moth, A Moth to Flame, A Witch to Burn. Ooh, by Kristen Sicarelli. Sorry if I, ooh, but look at here. Look at the pretty sprayed edges on this. That is beautiful. I love that. And then we have our solid on the bottom. All right, so there's that. And then, oh, look at the character art. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. Very well done. And it's even got like um, some foiling on the end pages. It's really pretty. And then here's our naked hardback. The Crimson Moth. This is really pretty too. I actually like the texture. It's like more of a, um, it's not a, a glossy texture on it. It's got like some kind of texture on it. So that's cool. There you go. A lot of gold foiling. One. Oh, so this is a new series? Okay. Crimson Moth. I haven't heard too much about this book, but I'm already intrigued by it. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Really pretty. Okay. And then we have, it looks like this is a reverse dust jacket. So here we go. Crimson Moth. So if you didn't like the other one, you could do this one as your, as your, um, your, other, your, de, your dust jacket if you didn't like this one which I actually don't mind this like this is the art it looks pretty nice so this is oh this is book one in the crimson moth duology the only thing more treacherous than being a witch is falling in love on the night of runes life on the night runes life changed forever blood ran in the streets now in the aftermath of a devastating revolution witches have been diminished from powerful rulers to outcasts ruthlessly hunted due to their waning magic and rune must hide what she is Spending her days pretending to be nothing more than a vapid young socialite, Rune spends her nights as the Crimson Moth, a witch vigilante who rescues her kind from being purged. When a rescue goes wrong, Rune decides to throw the witch hunters off her scent by courting the handsome Gideon Sharp. Except Gideon is a notorious and unforgiving witch hunter loyal to the revolution, and falling for him would be deadly. Ooh, that does sound intriguing. All right. So there you have it. So let's go ahead and look here. There's a letter from the author. Crimson Mom. There we go. It's got her other series listed here. For those afraid to be who they are. Oh, I like that. All right, and then we have that. So, oh yeah, it's not, so it's a letter from the author, but yeah, they fairly said they weren't gonna be having signatures in their books, unless they noted it, but so those, that's a digital signature. So here we go. Oh, the print is huge on this. Look how big that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is 406. Oh, and then it says, please turn the page for exclusive fairly bonus content. See, we like the bonus content. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. All right, so there you have it. That is that. And then let's look at our spoiler card real quick. See who these tarot cards are, because I never know. So the corduroy cap, we got that. And that's, yeah, from, um, yeah, fourth wing, uh, friendship, the crimson moth, a friendship key ring. Um, glass mug is the Jassad air. And then the bookshelf tote bag. Yeah, I love that. I love the tote bag. That's probably my favorite thing. And then we have tarot cards. So it has Rune as the Page of Moons card. So that's our character from this book that we just got. And then we have Gideon as the Knight of Moons. So that's that one. Uh-huh. And I guess, see, I think I got this one in another box. So I think this is just like an extra 
They're like, what do we do with these extras in the warehouse? And I was like, just put it in the box. <laughs> I can see that totally happening. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm making myself laugh. But anyway, okay. So that is the YA box and book. So I'm going to put all this stuff together so I don't lose it. All right, and then we still have the adult box here that I need to unbox, which is book only. Um, just so you know, in April, they are supposed to be doing a fantasy, a romance fantasy box they're gonna start, so. This is the adult, so I'm just the adult will become more, more fantasy, or not more fantasy, but more, less. Um, or, there's less romance in it, maybe Vikings. Oh, I know this book, oh yeah. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So this book is, because I know, this book is from the same author that did The Bridge Kingdom. So this is her new book that came out this year, 2024. All right, ooh, so here we already have like some runes on the sprayed edges, very pretty. Alrighty, and we have some character art. So yeah, definitely Viking vibes here. Very pretty. And our letter from the author. So this is A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel Jensen. And yes, oh, I love the ravens on the front. Oh, that's cool. I love birds, so there you go. So this is kind of like a bluish gray kind of color, like a Born in fire, chosen by the gods, I was foretold, it was foretold she would unite a nation, but unfated weave their own destiny, even if what they want is forbidden, and she wants him. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that sounds fun. So here we've got our end pages here. So we've got more art. Let's see, what's this is on the back. Ooh, the back is different. Ooh, fire. Ooh, like fire nice. Cool. Okay, I like that like the art, like how it looks, very good. And then, oh, this one it looks like it is signed. Signed edition, yep. So this one actually did get signed by the author, awesome. So yeah, Bridge Kingdom series, um, that's what she's known for, this author, so this is cool. And then we have book here. Yep, nice chapter headers, got like a shield on it. So, oh, and here is our, with gold foiling, this is our naked hardcover. Like, I like the quality of this, this is very nice. Nothing wrong with that, that's nice. And then our sprayed edges is these like runes with this like kind of ombre sprayed edge. That's very pretty. The sprayed edges here look much better. They do solid black for some reason. Every time they do solid black on their edges, like on this, on the Crimson Moth, like every time there's always like some real, like it's kind of like not even, not evenly sprayed on or something. So I'm not sure why that is like that. But anyway, so here is that. So anyway, let me just look and see how long this book is. See, this one is 409 pages of acknowledgments. And then that's the other. Yeah, so it's just simple. But this is something that um, I haven't read The Bridge Kingdom yet. I did get this very special editions of The Bridge Kingdom. So I definitely want to read that and I plan on doing so uh, soon. We'll see. See how much time. I'm, it's a slow reading year for me, so I'm having trouble. I'm kind of like in a slump. But it doesn't help, so I apologize if any videos are late. Um, I've been having some issues, like um, uh, just medical issues that have just been causing me to like not be able to read, <laughs> you know? So it's been really a struggle this year. And I know some of you may know exactly what I'm talking about, but anyway, but this is like definitely something that um, I wanna read more, hopefully I get back into the swing of things, which, you know what, sometimes it just happens this way, and I'm sure I will, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you would like um, to see more unboxings by me. I do try to keep it real simple because I don't want any of the, um, I, I try not to let, uh, to do this too much, um, like, I know some people are very expressive in their, um, 
unboxings that I try to be more simple and just focus on the books not the crazy reaction that the person opening the book is having, you know, so, you know, this way you can actually see it. You can even mute it if you don't want to see it, listen to me. Um, but this way you kind of get a, a like more of a close up too of all the books that um, I get. So anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.